from San Juan, Puerto Rico, and airing live here on Fight Network, Black Tiger Promotions held an event Saturday night with some of Puerto Rico's top stars. In the main event, the former WBO featherweight champion Juan Manuel Lopez made his return for the first time since 2014, taking on the former WBO super bantamweight champion Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. The son of Puerto Rican great Wilfredo Vasquez, the Vasquez family is one of just a handful of boxing clans to hold championship titles between generations. And Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. once again looked to put on a show for the Puerto Rican crowd on Saturday, starting the belt by slipping away from Juan Ma's punches and countering with his right hand. Things would start to get heated in the fourth round with Lopez striking Vasquez in the back of the head during a tie-up and the referee having to separate the fighters before things got out of hand. With hostility brewing, Vasquez looked to break the composure of Lopez, repeatedly exchanging in a war of words with the former featherweight champion. Through the later rounds, momentum was swinging towards Lopez's side with Vasquez's left eye clearly hurt. We would see the finish in the 11th round, followed by one of the craziest post-fight altercations you'll see all year. But yeah, look at the way, look at that heart. Talk about guts, he's still right there. That one backed him up, Wama just gotta let it go now. Good left hand. And there you have it. That's it, that's it. And, and they're you look at him now fighting his brother, his trainer. And now it's getting ugly. We're getting soaked. And now we're getting soaked here. It is getting ugly. Our modern and us totally cover now as bottles now come flying from all different angles. And now the two of them get together. That's, a, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about right there in boxing. And I said to you, Steve, that after the fight, they're going to respect each other. Well, I'd love to see that, but it, look at Wama's face. You see the bruise right there. You see those guys right there. And those are two champions. Those are two warriors that got it on in the ring, Steve. And at the end of the day, now those are the guys you respect the most. The two men eventually settled their beef with Vasquez shortly afterwards, announcing his retirement. But nevertheless, Juan Manuel Lopez picks up the TKO victory, snapping a two-fight losing skip. In the night's co-main event, the super lightweight strap was on the line with champion Yomar Alamo taking on Edwin Lopez. It was clear from the jump that Lopez had no business being in the ring with Alamo. Midway through the first round, Lopez took a knee following a left hook that tagged his temple and in between rounds cited an injury to his arm, forcing the referee to call a stop to the fight. Picking up the TKO victory, Yomar Alamo improves to 11-0. In a fight you have to see to believe, the top-ranked super middleweight in Puerto Rico, Emil Gonzalez, took on his 3-7 opponent, Eric Pinheiro. This four-round affair saw it all. Pinheiro was doing well in the first round, putting Gonzalez in the corner and trying to be the more active fighter overall. Gonzalez started to come alive in the dying seconds of the first round, and when it came to an end, Pinheiro gave him props, lightly tagging Gonzalez's body. The referee must have seen something entirely different taking a point away from Pinheiro for striking after the bell and changing the course of the fight. Gonzalez was disturbed focusing on the task at hand and outworking his tiring opponent. With the referee disregarding some blatant low blows, Pinheiro seemed to get reckless, dancing around the ring and refusing to engage with Gonzalez. After four rounds, it was clear who won the battle, with Emil Gonzalez picking up the unanimous decision. The rest of the card saw a trio of quick knockouts First up, Joseph Torres overwhelmed Ray Thomas Arroyo with some powerful strikes to pick up the knockout in just 10 seconds. In a rematch of their amateur days, Yamar Robles made a successful pro debut over Fernando Semide with a second round technical knockout. And the brother of Yomar Alamo, whom you saw fight in the night's co-main event, Yamil Alamo, needed just 24 seconds to score the quick knockout over the debuting Jose Gonzalez.